Brexit could create an unprecedented economic opportunity for the UK should it join the Asian-led Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, with the US likely to follow, creating a formidable force bigger than the EU, a policy expert told Express. The UK could join the CPTPP post-Brexit in order to bolster its economy and trade dealings after leaving the European Union, an expert has told Express.co.uk. Largely regarded as being spearheaded by Japan, the CCPT, in 2017, comprised a $10.5 trillion, £8 trillion economy of 500 million consumers. This represents around 13% of global GDP, more than the Eurozone's five largest economies combined, according to a Royal Bank of Canada report. The trading bloc consists of 11 countries, Australia, Brunei, Canada, Chile, Japan, Malaysia, Mexico, New Zealand, Peru, Singapore and Vietnam. In 2017, U.S. President Donald Trump pulled out of what was then called the Trans-Pacific Partnership TPP. Before this, the TPP accounted for an astonishing 40% of global GDP and 20% of global trade. Should the UK join the trading bloc, the US might quickly reconsider its membership, creating what Sean King, senior vice president of Park Strategies in New York and an affiliated scholar at University of Notre Dame's Lew Institute, described to express as a formidable force. He explained, after the US left, the existing 11 members have ever since been looking to expand whichever way they can, and Britain obviously needs to expand its strength and its markets post-Brexit after the transition period ends. For political purposes the CPTPP would love to have the UK in, and it would benefit the UK for its own political purposes, the issue of China, and economic needs. Japan is the fifth largest foreign direct investor in the UK. It's the UK's 11th largest trading partner and also Canada, Australia and Singapore are the UK's 18th, 19th and 20th largest trading partners respectively. Otherwise I don't think any other CPTPP members even figure in the UK's top 20 trading partners but there's no reason that can't be expanded. Added to this is the fact that 6 of the 11 existing members are Commonwealth countries so that's got to count for something too. Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Malaysia, Brunei, Singapore, are all countries with which Britain has good relations.